Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about your safe versus your unsafe days and when is the best time for you to have intercourse if you're trying to get pregnant. If you have not watched the video I've made on the menstrual cycle, you might want to go back and watch that because there's so much I've explained there that is like the base and the foundation for everything. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So just as a quick recap, we had defined the menstrual cycle length as the period or the number of days in between two periods. It starts from the first day of menstruation to the day before your next period. So say this was the first day that you saw your period this month and you're supposed to see it again on this day, right? If you have a 28 day cycle, from here, from this day to here is going to be 28 days this is your menstrual cycle length this first this first day of your next period actually starts another cycle and we had also said that the menstrual cycle is divided into two phases you have the follicular and the luteal phase and we said the luteal phase is the most important because it is almost always constant in most women meaning that it lasts for a total of 14 days and it starts the day after ovulation to the day before your next cycle and we had said that if you want to know the duration of your luteal phase right say your cycle is a 28 day cycle you're going to start counting from here backwards by 14 days because the luteal phase is 14 days right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 13 14 this is when the luteal phase starts and we said you the luteal phase starts after ovulation right so it means you're most likely to ovulate on day 14 if you have a 28 day cycle now that we have our memories refreshed let us define safe versus unsafe period so your safe period is simply that time or the number of days where if you have intercourse you're most likely to not get pregnant don't get confused so the idea is simply that if you have intercourse during this time it is safe because if you don't want to get pregnant you're not going to get you're most likely to not get pregnant during this time unsafe period is the period or the number of days where if you have intercourse you're most likely to get pregnant so it's like the danger zone right if you want to get pregnant this is the best time that is why i even hate this word of unsafe versus safe days because it's kind of uh, tricky i like to use fertile window and that's what we're going to be mostly using so for you to be able to know your fertile window there are a few details that you need to get sperm can stay in a woman for up to five days so it can last between three to five days and after a woman ovulates right the egg can stay viable for 12 to 24 hours these numbers are very important so if you're trying to know your safe your your fertile window right you took we said to calculate the luteal phase or for you to be able to know when you're ovulating just take your cycle length so for example if your cycle length is 28 right you take 28 minus 14 14 is the length of the luteal phase and it will give you 14 it means that somebody with a 28 day cycle is most likely to ovulate on day 14 somebody with a 30 day cycle is most likely to ovulate on day 16 right so for the purpose of this let's say someone has a 28 day cycle they are most likely to ovulate on day 14 and we said that healthy sperms can stay in the woman for up to five days so from this 14 they are going to count and go back five days one two three four five it means that their fertile window opens from day nine of their menstrual cycle not the nine of the month the nine of their menstrual cycle why because if they have intercourse on this day because sperms can stay for up to five days 
the, the sperm can be in their system until they ovulate on this day 14 sometimes they can even ovulate on day 13 or any of these days so we call this period their fertile window also remember that we said once the egg is released it can stay viable for up to 24 hours so we always just give it two days after ovulation right so this is ovulation one one two from these days so from the nine to day 16 of their cycle this is their fertile window let me try to circle that for you guys from day nine to day 16 right this is their fertile window so if you have intercourse on any of these days you are most likely to get pregnant take for example if somebody has a 30 day cycle right it means that they are most likely to ovulate on day 16 like we had said this is their own ovulation day if you count and go back five days one two three four five it means that their own fertile window opens on day 11th not day 9 like somebody who has a 28 day cycle and they are most likely to ovulate on day 16 and two days after so you give it a bonus of two days after so you have the 17 and the 18 so their own fertile period extends to the 18 this is their fertile window so it is different for every woman depending on the length of your menstrual cycle that is why i said that you need to understand your cycle length length because it's like the base for everything from there you can track ovulation you can track your fertile window you can also track um, your safe period so now talking about your safe days right and we said your safe days are the days that if you have intercourse you're most likely to not get pregnant so if you're trying to not get pregnant these are the best days for somebody with a 28 day cycle like we said they are most likely to ovulate on day 14. we counted and we went back right so it means their fertile window opens from day 9 and it closes on day 16 right so two days after they ovulate if you're trying to not get pregnant these ladies um say your cycle started on the first right you bled from the first on the first second third um fourth and fifth for people who have who bleed for up to five days after menstruation after the bleeding you have three days for somebody who has a 28 day cycle remember you have three days within this window where if you have intercourse right it is very very unlikely for the woman to get pregnant know that everything is possible this all things are possible but scientifically these three days for a lady with a 28 day cycle is very unlikely for her to get pregnant so this is her safe period right this is one of the safe periods we also said that after ovulation give it two days because the egg stays viable for up to 24 hours it means that from the sick the 17 day of a woman with a 28 day cycle right up to so you have 17 18 19 20 right up to the first day of her next period this is considered safe it means if you have intercourse she is most likely to not get pregnant why because she has already ovulated and in this time now the the egg is trying to disintegrate if there was no sperm to fertilize it at the time and her period is going to come but i'll advise that always give it a little time give it some small space right so if her fertile window closes on this day 16 wait that is day 17 pass start on day 18 from this day 18 right up to the first day of her next period right is considered a safe period so for somebody who has a 30 day cycle for example remember the length of your cycle is important because these days vary 
it means that her own ovulation was on day 16 right her fertile window opened when on 16 one two three four five her fertile window opened on day 11 say she menstruated for five days right it means that from this six seven eight nine ten she has up to five days of safe period before her, of her fertile window opens and then after from day 16 you have day 17 day 18 right the fertile window closes from day 19 now right up to the first day of her next cycle that is considered her safe period so to answer the question of when is the best time to have intercourse if you're trying to get pregnant for a lady with a 28 day cycle right she's ovulates we have established that she ovulates on day 14 and we're giving it up to two days after it means that and we're also counting five days before this day 14. so her fertile window opens on day nine and it goes right up to here so this is the time when if you're trying to get pregnant you have a total of one two three four five six seven eight days to maximize conception so this is the best time to have intercourse and like I said in my previous video you don't want to have intercourse every day because it does not increase the chances of you getting her pregnant in fact the more a man ejaculates the more frequently a man ejaculates the fewer the sperm cells in the ejaculate so if a fertile window opens on day nine right you can have you can have intercourse on day nine here you skip day 10 day 11 skip day 12 day 13 no, i'm sorry you have intercourse on day 10 right skip day 11 have intercourse on day 12, skip day 13, and have intercourse on day 14. You can also have intercourse on day 15 and day 16. The number of times you choose to have intercourse in the day is purely up to you. I've already told you what is, but this is the best time for you to have intercourse for her to be able to conceive. It's the same thing for somebody who has a 30 day cycle, a 33, 35 day cycle. Just calculate 30 minus 14, it will give you uh, her ovulation date take count and go back five days and after day 16 count two days ahead that is the best time for you to have intercourse if you want to maximize her chances of conception this is the simplest way i can try to explain this to you guys without all the little nuances you know of all the special things we always add in medicine this is the simplest way so follow this if you have more questions leave them in the comment section if you're confused let me know in the comment section i'm going to come back on here i'm going to still explain it to you till you get it thank you so much for watching this episode i'll see you next time don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms subscribe please if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and share it with this video to someone that may need to see it thank you so much and i'll see you next time Bye-bye.